The M1 Macs have no doubt been a great hit and taken the industry by storm. M1 Mac Minis have especially been very popular with, with its low price and exceptional performance. But the Mac Mini is not without issues. Let's get into it. There's no doubt that I love my M1 Mac Mini. I actually put it as my top gadget that I got in 2020. The performance is off the charts. From video editing all the way to web browsing, this is probably the fastest computer I've ever owned. Check out my one month review here. As much as I love this computer, there have been some issues that I've experienced and apparently searching on the web, there have been a number of people who have had the same issue. I do have the 16 gigabyte Mac mini and I know some people have run into issues with the 8 gigabyte version, but I have the 16 gigabyte version here. I've had a number of Bluetooth issues, especially with non-Apple keyboards and mice. First, I get occasional lag in the movement of my mouse and in the key presses on my keyboard. I've not had that, as many issues with my old Apple wireless keyboard and first generation uh, Magic Mouse, but with my Keychron mechanical keyboard and my Logitech mouse, I've had these issues. Another thing, very often, I'm unable to connect to these peripherals when my computer wakes up from sleep. So I can live with using the Magic Mouse, but I really need my Keychron keyboard. To combat these problems, I've pretty much reverted back to plugging my peripherals in. Luckily, the Keychron keyboard can be both Bluetooth and USB. With my Logitech mouse, I switched to using the Logitech's USB universal adapter. I do wish the Bluetooth was more reliable so I could free up some ports on my Mac mini and have a, have a cleaner desktop with one less cable. It's definitely not a distance thing because key, the keyboard and mouse are right next to the Mac mini. Some people have seen weird color issues and resolution issues. Some have seen issues when using ultra wide monitors. Well, I haven't seen any of those issues and I'm using a 35 inch ultra wide monitor. The issue I'm having is another wake up from sleep issue. What happens is when the computer has been asleep for a while, uh, it often won't wake up the monitor. There are some signals that are being sent to the monitor because all of a sudden the monitor tells me that it hasn't received a signal and it's going into power saving mode. It pretty much does this over and over, but it doesn't wake up the monitor fully. It seems like it's not sending the right signal to the monitor to wake, up, wake it up. The monitor seems to know there's something going on, but that's about it. What I have to do is either restart the computer or power cycle the monitor and unplug and replug it into the computer. This happens when it's connected directly to the HDMI port on the Mac mini and the display port on my dock. This issue seems to depend on the monitor itself. I don't have these issues with my 24 inch ASUS monitor. In a video from Ben Aqua, he mentioned how he was having issues with his 2018 LG monitor. He was having more of the color and resolution issues, but these issues went away when he upgraded to the 2020 version of that same LG monitor. I get it. My monitor here may not be using the latest standards, but getting a new monitor is not an option for me. I got this monitor on sale and I think most people getting the Mac mini are usually budget conscious or already have their own existing monitor that they want to use. Besides, this monitor works perfectly with my 2017 MacBook Pro and my Windows laptop. I've heard other Mac mini users who have contacted Apple and they said they are working on fixing the issue. In the meantime, my temporary fix is to prevent my Mac from going to sleep. I'm using an app called Amphetamines, but you can also use other apps such as Caffeine. I know this is not an ideal situation, but I mainly do this during the day. Also, these M1 Macs use a lot less power. When I'm away from my computer, I just turn off my monitors. The third issue I see is that I'm getting some random reboots. I'll link to an iMore article in the description, but it seems to be an issue with all M1 Macs and some Intel Macs. 
especially when certain hubs or monitors are plugged in. This doesn't happen very often, but it, it happens randomly. I'm suspecting it might be some kind of voltage issue, but I have noticed that it has restarted overnight. Fortunately, this hasn't happened when I've been in the middle of a meeting or in the middle of something important, but I do hope this gets addressed by Apple in the next update. These are three main issues that I've seen with my M1 Mac Mini. Other than the random reboots, I've been able to do some workarounds. For the most part, I feel Apple will be able to address most of these issues. The Bluetooth issue might be an interference issue, but the fact that they happen less with Apple peripherals, I feel like Apple can address that issue as well. Whether they are motivated to do it is a different story, but there are a lot of people complaining about it. Despite these issues, I still feel that this has been one of my best purchases in recent years. There are always growing pains, especially with the first generation of a product, but Apple is a company that tends to eventually get it right and get, get it right quicker than other companies. Are you having the same issues? Are you having other issues? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.